What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube, and welcome to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video. We know very little about these new Hoenn remakes announced. All we've seen is the box art for the games and a 3D cutscene of Kyogre and Groudon summoning their weather condition. With the little we know, fans are up and making theories for various things in the game, one of the more popular ones being about Mega Evolutions, with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire being Generation 6 games along with Pokemon X and Y. One of the most controversial things is about introducing new Mega Evolutions. Will Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire introduce new Mega Evolutions? Let's take a look. There are a total of 30 Mega Evolutions in the code of Pokemon X and Y, 27 of which are obtainable in-game. The three that cannot be normally obtained are the Blaziganite, the Latiasite, and the Latiosite. Fans believe that these three Mega Stones exist in the game as a bonus and are supposed to be obtained through trading with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and it makes a lot of sense until you look at it a bit deeper. If these three are to be obtained through Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, then that means Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire will only have the same 30 Mega Evolutions that X and Y did. If it were true and these Mega Stones were meant to be obtained through Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, then there would be a lot more unreleased Mega Stones in X and Y's code for compatibility. Because of this, some fans are suggesting that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire will not introduce new Megas, but the majority of fans speculate that they probably will introduce a whole new batch of them. Our instincts tell us that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire have to introduce new Megas, especially because of Blaziken getting a Mega Evolution leaving the other two deserving one out. But if Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were to introduce new Megas, they wouldn't be compatible with X and Y as they don't exist in those games, and if they were to do that, X and Y users may not be able to trade with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire users. Because of this, fans have come up with two theories that work to prove that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire will in fact introduce new Mega Evolutions. Let's take a look. The first theory is that X and Y users will not be able to trade directly with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire users, but will be able to transport their Pokemon to other games through the use of the Pokebank. Because the Pokebank does not allow items to be transferred, Mega Stones will not be able to transfer between games as well. For example, if the Swamperdite was revealed in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and I tried to transfer it to X and Y, the Pokebank wouldn't allow it to go through, and the Mega Stone would remain in its game. However, we've always been able to trade between games in the same generation, like Leaf Green to Sapphire and Heart Gold to Pearl, so it doesn't look like something Game Freak would do. But then again, Generation 6 is in its own league, away from the previous 5 gens, and we're starting to see changes in Game Freak's patterns that would make this theory plausible. It would also make sense on Nintendo's part as they would want users to renew their annual Pokebank license so they can maintain customers and make a huge profit out of it. The second theory suggests that training will be allowed between X and Y users and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire users, but with restrictions. Trading certain items would not be allowed, just like how attempting to trade the unreleased Latiasite and Latiosite over Wi-Fi wouldn't work. Doing this would allow the games to trade between each other directly instead of being forced to use the Pokemon Bank, and items like the Red and Blue Orb and newer Mega Stones will be safe from the older games. They could also add a new patch to the game, but we've only seen Game Freak release two minor patches, and it's highly unlikely that they'll release a new patch for X and Y that would make it compatible with a full set of Mega Evolutions. But you never know, Game Freak likes to throw curveballs. And if you're wondering about the last two unreleased Mega Pokemon, Nintendo will probably use the official revealing of Mega Latias and Latios in a few months to hype up the Hoenn Remix and bring a lot more attention to the release of these next Pokemon games. And with that, Pokemon fans say that Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire will probably introduce a whole new batch of Mega Evolutions. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Let me know how you think trading will work between the four Generation 6 games, and let me know what Mega Pokemon you hope to possibly see in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. There will be Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage videos every day, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.